Eric Portillo, the sophomore from Sweden. He is a giant goaltender, just coming into his own, coming off of a scoreless draw versus Michigan Tech, and away we go. It's in across the line. It's Hughes. But this group hasn't been together for a while with the canceled World Junior Tournament. Now the one-timer, Brissaw scores! A minute 15, Brendan Brissaw strikes! How Michigan would like to play this game fast. They create a turnover on the blue line. All of a sudden, Brisson has lost there. Pops out to the high slot. And yeah, way up high where Mama keeps the cookies. Shelfing this one up over the fifth year netminder. Great one timer there. Turnovers again in that neutral zone, allowing Michigan to play on a short rig, meaning they can pivot and head back into the offense instead of having to go all the way back to Van Wy. The opening, the shot, and that caroms around but doesn't go in. Pass to Joff, just leaves it in a space. There's Blankenberg. He's never shy along the boards. Blankenberg now has the opening right in front. Trying a little shove shot, but Matt Murray has it covered. So sometimes you have to be vulnerable as well to your players in order for them to you know, truly create that relationship. And I've never heard a coach quite state it like that. Right now, UMass still looking for their first shot on target. This is Owen Power. Turns it over, rare turnover, and there's the first shot. Lawton back with the attempt there on Portillo. A real dirty guy gets down there, does the little things. Right in front, looking for that second rebound, but Matt Murray had it stopped. Yeah, we started to see a little bit more muck and grind kind of along the end walls. Portillo stops that. Awaiting there is Luke Hughes. Astapa, he's been more noticeable, getting more ice time with a lot of the big players away at the World Junior Tournament, and number 94 has been taking advantage of it. To be that, he has that skill, led this team in scoring last year, was able to come back and uh, with his whole line, which does not happen very often. Brisson denied there with the pad of Matt Murray. Dealt with by Murray. Michigan keeping the power play pressure. Sam Oskevich, that's right on again on Matt Murray. Brisson with a minute to go on the power play. Five minutes of this opening period. Good play there by Summer. Scott Morrow was poised to shoot. Now firing from the point. Portillo diving across as Mercury was there. Trevino rolls it in deep. In pursuit there is Lapina as well. Angled in front, angled in. UMass on the board here late in the first period. Getting the Minutemen on the board. Here's the puck goes to the net and deflects in an awkward fashion. Behind the net, mind you, here is Wake was trying to get that to his line mate Trevino on the back. Yes, they scored that early goal, but for the most part, stymied after that. And now they get a late one. Right in front there. Why not test Portillo from angles everywhere? There was Keyfuke from the left wing board. Head up on the way into the zone. Blankenberg just trying to create a rebound. He does there, but Michigan unable to find that rebound. Ethan Edwards beginning the breakout. Now a turnover. UMass trying to take advantage. Save Portillo. The rebound lays in front. And the scramble continues. Fighting after it there was Del Geizo. In front again, Del Geizo was too well tied up. And do we have a penalty upcoming? Taking everything away. Shorthanded. Johnny Beecher in on goal. Beecher fires. Matt Murray out to make the save. On that puck in the offensive zone. There's the turnover that Johnny Beecher is able to exploit, tries to test him five words, not necessary. Still in the power play here, UMass controlling off the faceoff. Kessel, the one-timer, Portillo the save, and he doesn't allow a rebound. Second oldest building in all of college hockey, trailing only Princeton. Maybe he's full throttle and he just full goes throttle. Without, what without a water nickname too in our conference called Mel Pearson bringing back some memories. Billy's nickname on campus.
Full throttle all day, 24-7. Game plans and concepts, it's not as easy. Well, I think a big key is you got to try to explain it so a squirt team could understand it. And if you can do that, you, you've got excellent communication skills, or you're a squirt coach, one or the other. Beneers, Blankenberg, the one-timer, and Murray has it. You know, the primary goal and, and, and focus for him in his first couple of seasons here. For you podcast listeners, there's a great one of him on Spit and Chicklets that you might want to check out. Portillo misses Beneers with that breakout pass. Here's Scott Morrow. Cool little drop pass and a snapshot off the stick of Ryan Lawton back into the glove of Eric Portillo. And it was a you know, great turnover recognized by Moros. He sidesteps a check, pulls the defender to the middle there. Coach Dave Jackson there has to be just kicking himself. I mean, there's not a team in college hockey that couldn't use a Scott Morrow on their team. Luke Morgan's little shovel backhand. Lapina up the boards. Kept in by Van Wy as he whips it wide. There's a stopper. He just gets to pucks, big number 94. But no rebound allowed by Murray. So far, UMass has stymied Michigan. Other than the opening goal from Brendan Brisson. Sam Oskevich, and that puck had left the zone, it appears, so an offside called. Second power play opportunity on the night for UMass. Tapped in front. Lopina had a stick lifted. Now the blast wide. It was Morrow behind it. Lapina feeding the vacated point, catching up to it. Trevino slides it down low. Lapina's in front, looking for a rebound, and it pops free for Van Wy, and he will clear. Was that Edwards trying to clear it, unable to. Portillo knocking down that wrist shot from Bollinger. UMass trying to keep it in. Watch out, Beecher. Second shorthanded breakaway, and Murray stopped them both from Johnny Beecher. Well, there's going to be more teams that they will play. Quick one-timer there, and Portillo able to make the save there on Ryan Sullivan. There was no good decision to be made there except for hoisting it as far away from him as possible. Van Wy, the wrist shot off the pad of Matt Murray. And it's cleared by UMass. Portillo up the boards, closed down by Lepster. Patiently, Jack Summers now will give to Edwards. Just squeezes by a check. Matty Beneers in, shoots. Murray the save on Beneers. Small areas there. He's able to command to make the defense pass on his forehand, which is the most predictable pass, so they can jump it, create the turnover you just saw. Hughes didn't get much on that shot. And how many cross checks? McDonald's. He won't let him go. I'll tell you what, though, he kept his feet moving. Big key for the kids at home there. If you're thinking, gosh, how come he didn't get a penalty? Having a steady year is, is important, where you can spend a little time in the weight room, something that's certainly helped own power. Van Wy walking in there. Estapa couldn't get to the rebound, and it's cleared. Ken Johnson thinking odd man rush, marching down the ice with Brisson. Johnson waits, fires off the goalpost. Last moment, Johnson was taken away, and Brisson. They'll go the other way. This is Del Geizo. Del Geizo dropping it to Morrow. Morrow, the one timer off the stick of Farmer, and Portillo has it wrapped up for a faceoff. Certainly, the game has transitioned where speed matters as much as it's ever. However, as you tip into the postseason, size still is awfully darn important. And Pearson, a stopper. He was tripped, and that's called. Power play upcoming for Michigan. Veneers looking for options. Owen Power was too well tied up by Harding. Rebound Luke Morgan down to make the save, Matt Murray. And it's hoisted to center. That low drive by Bollinger. Dribbles wide. Lawton back. 
holds it in. Wraparound attempt there. Portillo, the save on Mercury. Pressure here. Best pressure from UMass all game. Cleanly won back by Del Gaizo. Now oh, the road recipe is working so far for UMass. We thought that potentially it could be a type of game that Michigan could score a. Uh, could adhere to with you know the talents he has in front of him, but nonetheless, this is a playoff type game. This is a great learning opportunity for the Michigan Wolverines. Trying to force Michigan to potentially have to dump it, not something they prefer to do. Summers the shot, Murray the save. Samuel Skevich has the rebound. Samuel Skevich now revving up those engines. Samuel Skevich shooting, but right at Matt Murray, who clenches it for a faceoff. Here it's the Wolverines controlling. A weak shot by Morgan, brushed aside by Matt Murray. With the close proximity to the Canadian border, why not? Now, now you lost me. You just lost me there. <laughs> you said something earlier in the broadcast, Dan, that you know, oftentimes it's not necessarily the star players that make the difference. Veneers firing it wide. I would get the nod to a stoppa in a game like this. Missing the connection. Veneers and Brisson firing it around. Now it's UMass on the counter. Portillo shoulders that Harding shot down. Game opening up a little bit here. Brisson turns the puck over. UMass walks in. Portillo down to make the save. Scott Morrow with the opportunity. East meets West in this highly anticipated matchup. Now UMass looking for their first lead. It was Keefuk. Points not really counting, but his team has been playing well here. Blowing a tire there was a stopper. Still got the shot off. Third period, almost seven minutes old. Jimmy Lambert walks in and again right into the chest of Matt Murray, making it an easy stop. His shot is Morgan. Takes the check, makes the play, and yeah, right in the breadbasket section. Murray keeps the play moving on to Scott Morrow. Veneers the steal. Watch out, here comes Michigan. Brisson right in front. Kent Johnson, the final finish for the Wolverines. A crucial turnover here, created by the Wolverines. Veneers, and it's a quick three-on-one going the other direction. Morrow does his best job stretching out, trying to wait for help, but... Wow, what a pass here. Pull it back, hoist it over. Murray doing his best. Look at Johnson saying, hey, that was you, pal. That had very little to do with me. I could flush anything. Michigan not moving their feet that much. And finally, they'll find the solution. Now moving their feet. Pass to job. Samuel Skevich, and he snaps it wide. Dylan Duke tied up. Not a problem. Picking up the pieces. It's Luke Morgan with speed. Fires and Murray pads that aside. Stopping Luke Morgan. The whistle stays silent. In the meantime, here comes Michigan. Owen Power floats it across. The quick wrist shot. Murray has it. They had some critical turnovers in the second period, but things have been pretty clean here in the third. They'll kick it back to the point. Here's Summers. Shooting one. Rebound. Brissaw trying the impressive little finish. That play that he threw a little love to Matthew Kachuk as he pulls it. He tries to test the netminder there. And hunt. Kent Johnson now on his horse. One-timer. Stuck aside by Murray. Samuel Skevich going for a little skate. Trying to wheel it in front, but it was cut off by the goaltender, Matt Murray. You know, emotions, egos, uh, expectations. It's, that's why, you know, coaching's difficult. It's not all about the X's and O's. Here's Brissaw. Brissaw fires. Scores! Two-goal lead thanks to Brendan Brissaw. Quick turnover again created right there. I believe that was Beneers and 
for Pup Johnson. Catches that puck, just rips it right back to Brisson. Murray's got it's only a small chance, but fortunate as you see his 13th of the season. He's always scoring, but every time the cameras catch him on the bench, he's always smiling as well. I would too. If in regulation, they're down by two. Kessel thought about shooting. Now fires it in front. Trevino whacking away at it. Portillo keeps him at bay. Yeah, kind of an injured player here in Trevino who got the exploding shoulder, potentially exit the zone. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that was the correct call. Kessel cradles, 50 seconds to go. Launching that shot, hits congestion on the way in. The hustle from Kessel keeps it in, but just for a second as Beecher pokes it out. Slides it in, Eric Portillo. Guides it up the wall perfectly. And he had to pay the price, but it's cleared by passage off. Empty net Beecher. He's not going to miss that one. Johnny Beecher puts this one on ice for the University of Michigan. Um, second half of the first period in particular. Uh, stretching late in the second period, exposing the puck more than they traditionally would, I believe. And a really I think being bogged down a bit of the neutral zone.